in the days of the dot-com era, I had a dot-com company that I co-founded and I was the visible face of. And we raised about $80 million. And then when the stock market tanked, our investors pulled the plug and we were out of business. And that experience is one of the things I talk about in my keynote speeches. It almost killed me. I literally almost killed myself with my own autoimmune system uh, from the stress. And one of the biggest things that I have gotten as a tool to get through those times since then is to be in touch with the context of your life. Because the context of my life going into that failure was that, you know, success only knocks once and you have a few opportunities to succeed and you better take them or you're gonna, you know, wind up a loser. And inside that context for my life, it was a very small context. And an $80 million failure, you know, that was just more than I could handle. But when I looked at my life and I said, okay, well, what's my life really about? If, if, what would be the context for my life that would be worth living? And I got that I'm here to make a difference, period. I'm just here to make a difference. And inside the context of I'm here to make a difference, you know, failure is not going to stop me. I, I could fail a bunch, but I'm going to keep going because I'm here to make a difference. And what's interesting is inside that context, not even success would stop me. And I think success stops a lot of people that, fit, you know, doesn't, failure doesn't stop them, but success stops them. And success won't stop me in this context either because I'm just here to make a difference. So fall down seven times, get up eight. That's one of the biggest things that's made a difference in my life.